Galut and guys, and welcome back to the next training vlog. Still filmed on, or not filmed, still recorded on the same day as the last two ones. Because, yeah, the uploading schedule or the schedule between filming and cutting the video and doing the voiceover is a bit weird. Hopefully, in the future, I will get to a point where I have a training session and the day off or the day after the training vlog will be up because I think it would be nice to have it be that way <laughs> i can't really describe it any other way i just think it's nicer to have the trainings log to always be of today's or yesterday's training but at this point i'm two weeks behind on uploading so i'm gonna be uploading a bit more frequently over the next next few days because usually i train two days and then one day off so if i'm gonna be uploading more often then i should catch up eventually but anyway that's besides the point I just wanted to mention it. So today is just uh, snatches and cleaner jerks, so Olympic lifting stuff. We've talked about that quite a bit over the last 15 or so training vlogs and but also in videos before that. So I don't think there needs to be a lot said about today's training. So we'll just have it in the background and talk a bit about YouTube and making YouTube videos. Now I've been making videos for quite a while now. I don't know if you are making videos, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Uh, if you are, let me know how it's going. But it's it's a bit of a weird experience. When I started YouTube, I definitely didn't have any grand expectations. So I didn't think that I was, was going to make videos for a few weeks or months and then could live of it. But if I'm totally honest, I for sure thought that after 5 to 10 videos, I would have maybe 100 subscribers. And that after half a year of making videos, a thousand subscribers would be realistic. Now, maybe it's realistic for some people or whatever, but as it turns out for me, even making videos for over a year or over two years at this point, I'm not sure. I think we're closing in on two years, uh, but I'm still quite a bit away from a thousand subscribers. Now, if I'm totally honest, YouTube is not my main focus all the time. Sometimes I focus more on it, sometimes less. I also have had times where I didn't upload for months at a time, so definitely doesn't help. But still, it's weird. Sometimes you have a good idea or you think you have a good idea. Here I miss some 83 snatches. Sometimes you have a good idea or at least you think you have a good idea, you put a lot of effort in and the video does meh. And sometimes a video where you just thought, yeah, I'm gonna put that out, performs way better than you think. For example, um, my best performing video up to date is the long-term weightless one. There I put a lot of work in, that subtitles, had a lot of transitions, music, all that good stuff, and it performed good. Then I thought, okay, hey, maybe a good video will just perform good. But the next few videos after that, I didn't put quite as much effort in, but still some effort or more effort than usually and did it poorer than other videos. So I thought, okay, maybe it was just a one off thing. And then when I started doing the strength vlogs, one of them got almost 200 views and I was like, okay, that's pretty much as low production <laughs> quality as I've gone on the channel and it performed really well. So what the fuck's happening here? Now the Athene X video, I thought was a catchy thumbnail, a catchy title. Uh, interesting personality. I put a lot of work in, probably the most work, even more than the long-term weightless one. And at the beginning, it performed really shitty. Now we're up to almost 400 views, so it was a bit longer lived, so it was fine. But now it's also not growing anymore, so I really have no idea uh, how to appeal to the algorithm or how to make the video blow up. But at this point, I'm not even sure how much I care because I enjoy making the videos and especially these ones where I just have my training and I talk over it and I don't spend hours on editing and making graphics. It's much more enjoyable because the thing is, I like thinking about what I'm going to say. I, for the most part, like saying it and filming it. I certainly like training, so the B-roll here is pretty, uh, pretty easy to create. But doing stuff like making fancy transitions or making the graphics, I already talked about I make things myself, so I'm not an expert on this stuff. So making a graphic where you just have an arrow grow from one side to the other with a few dents or whatever in between takes me quite a bit of while. 
quite a bit of well what the fuck uh takes me quite a while so not doing these i don't miss it as much though to be honest it's also fun to have a video where you're really proud of and now on these training vlogs i still am happy with what i'm saying i think it's interesting and that's my pure thought so i think it has some uh yeah let's call it a philosophical value <laughs> but the video itself in terms of production quality is very low so i'm definitely more proud of the long-term weight loss or the FNX video because there is more storytelling there is more editing there is more thought behind it in general so yeah i think we're gonna close it out here the video footage has been finished already for over a minute so i think that's enough for this one have a good one guys